Well, 10 11, we got some good breaking news happening right now in Bristol. Yeah, it's happening at Eastern High School. Carolyn Kelma is getting the Teacher of the Year Award. She's just taken the podium. We're going to listen in. To my students in the audience, I hope I have taught you. I'm not going to cry. I hope I have taught you that learning is not about knowing the right answer. It's a process of discovery. There is strength in being wrong. There is power and bravery in it, and you will grow and learn from it. No one in this room has all the answers, but that's just the beauty of life. You can and should always learn more. When you sit in my classroom, I hope that you feel that you belong. I hope you feel valued, accepted, and treated with respect, humanity, and understanding. I hope you feel our room is a safe space for all learners and that you know that I've got your back. I hope that being your teacher helps you to learn, uh, excuse me, to love learning and appreciate that your mind is a gift. I hope you know that I, will, I believe in you and I am so proud of you every day. This, this right here, guys, this is your victory too. And I hope that maybe, maybe this day may inspire some of you to join this profession. The teaching profession needs to look more like the students in this room. We need you. People of various ethnicities, identities, orientation, physical abilities, languages, immigration statuses, hair color. <laughs> we need you. We need you to be represented in this career so that you can spark curiosity and inspire the future of our great state and country. As Connecticut Teacher of the Year, I not only hope to inspire young educators and promote this career, but I also hope to contribute to reform policy and practice to provide equity so that all students have the opportunity to succeed. We cannot teach effectively and expect students to learn when we do not understand how their backgrounds and identities influence that learning. I feel education needs to focus more on standardizing the opportunities available to our students instead of their assessments. I also need to thank the Connecticut Teacher of the Year Council and Committee. Thank you so much for being so genuinely kind, professional, and transparent through this process. The process of applying, interviewing, and earning this award has been very much like teaching. Hard <laughs> and exhausting, but very rewarding, fun, and frankly, life-changing. Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. So she's wrapping up. By the way, she teaches biology, forensics, and biotechnology. biotechnology. There, yeah, a lot to uh, uh, to teach yeah. there at Bristol Easter. And she said her success, and we're getting this, by the way, from Keith McGilvery who's there. Her success just comes down to her love for teaching and building an emotional connection with students, something that became very apparent just by listening to her speak for a minute. Yeah. Her coworkers, fellow teachers, saying that the love and the care that she has for her students is just incredible and it shows through every day there. Mm. Okay, well Governor Lamont was there speaking earlier, so he made some announcements yes. before making the big announcement there. Well deserved.